In this screencast, you are going to learn some of the basics of creating and editing video using WeVideo. The first thing you will need to have done is added WeVideo to the Create menu, so adding WeVideo as one of your apps in Drive, which you can view in my previous screencast, but you can get it by connecting more apps. So once you have WeVideo added to Google Drive, you can simply click on the app and it will open the WeVideo editor. There are a couple different types of editors in WeVideo, so you may be asked at the beginning if um, how much you know about WeVideo and what you're using it for, so I would recommend clicking Education and I Know Nothing about it, and then there will be an option for a tutorial or you can just get started. So you should um, end up at a screen like this where it says, um, Hi Molly, and below if you have any projects, um, they will be listed, but most of you will be at the place where you're going to want to create a new project. So when you create a new project, my pro project is just going to be called Aspen, Colorado, as maybe those are some pictures that I have available right now, and I'm going to click Create. So when I create the project, it will be in my project list, but when I hover over my project of Aspen, Colorado, it will then say create video. So when I create the video, it opens up the Wii Video Editor. And again, there are a couple different versions of this based on sort of how much you know about video editing. So the first thing um, that you have, just a little overview, is first of all, this is the storyboard option. Um, you can upload. You can change themes, and then when you're finished, you would ready to, you would be um, publishing your video. The next line down is this is where your media is stored. So this is a video icon. You can have images in WeVideo. There is some music or audio that's already in WeVideo that you can use, and there are just a couple simple um, text slides that you can also use for your um, WeVideo. So I, you can see that I'm clicked on media right here. So I can upload media. I can also record right from my webcam. And anything that I upload or record will end up as um, video clips right here that I can drag and drop down into my storyboard below. The next one over is, um, is pictures. So I can go to photos, and this is what a lot of students will be doing. And this is where photos that I've uploaded will already be. But a lot of the students will need to upload some media. And so I'm going to click on Upload Media. Now, you can either upload media from your computer or your Chromebook if you have um, downloaded some pictures into your downloads um, or have something on your computer. But um, if you watched my previous video, you also know that um, teachers can add pictures in Google Drive that students can access. So you are also able to connect um, to Google Drive. So when you do click on Google Drive, it may ask you a couple um, questions about connecting to Google Drive. Um, it'll probably go through two of these wizards in order to get sort of the two connected. So um, you'll click Accept, and then it might say it again, Connect to Google Drive, and then um, I say it again as well, and there's an Accept that we can click. If it goes through it more than one time, then um, I X out and try it again. But now you can see that I am in my Google Drive. And if you watch my previous um, screencast, you can see that I added a folder that I shared to all the students about pictures from the field trip. So if the students open that up, they can see all the pictures that I'd shared with them that they can add to their Google Drive, or to their Wii Video project. So if I just click on the plus, plus you can see that it's selected over here. Um, I try to do just maybe one or two or three at a time, just to make sure that it doesn't get too stuck um, in the process. So then I can click on Upload. And if this process takes a long time, I've worked with some students in which this um, uploading, which this one actually might do right now, takes a really long time. It, I, it obviously matters how many pictures um, you're putting up there, but if it does get stuck like this, then I just um, use the little red, or use the X um, up in the top right corner and get out of it, um, and then just try it again, because it shouldn't take that long. Um, when you're going through and doing this. So you should see that now maybe that I click that little OK button behind the, ske the scenes that you should see that they'll start uploading a lot faster. So you can see that they go right here um, and they get uploaded. So I recommend doing just a couple at a time just so that it doesn't take too long for you to upload your um, images into WeVideo. 
Once the status says that all of your images have been uploaded, you can go back up here to Storyboard. And when you click on Storyboard in Picture, now you have your images that are added into your slide deck. So down below, I'm going to just start dragging and dropping or just clicking on the plus sign and adding these images down into uh, my WeVideo Storyboard. And after I add these videos into my WeVideo Storyboard, I can see that each video is four seconds, or each picture is four seconds long. In this storyboard option, they're always going to look this big, but I can sort of um, drag and sort of shrink this video so that it's no longer four seconds, but now it's 2.3 seconds. You can see that it still looks like it's almost about the same size, but I can shrink it up so that it looks a little, so that the, the timing gets a little bit different. A couple other things that I can do quickly is I can just go into text and I can drag a title slide down into my um, slide. If I click on edit, I can type a title. And you just have a couple options for font and color and things like that. And then I will click done editing. I also have the ability to add um, a little text over each one of the pictures. So if I wanted to do that, I can click on edit and then I could say, um, whatever text I would want to on there, click done editing. Um, I can also choose um, some music to go along with my Wii video. So if I click on music, there's project media, something that I would may have uploaded, but otherwise there's already some stuff in action, party, drama, and atmosphere. So maybe I'll go into party and we'll go into lounge and I can drag it right down here into this area that says the song. So I can move this little green bar back to the front of my video push play and start watching my preview. Now sometimes in the preview, the, um, the text doesn't always show over the image, but um, some of the times it will. Now the last thing about WeVideo that's really fun is there's the ability to have themes and different themes make your video look a little bit different. The themes will also change the song, so you'll just wanna pay attention to that. But if I click on this little plus sign, the plus sign will show me that there are a lot of different themes that I can use. So if I wanted to do the theme punk rock, I can click on that. I can also view what my 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 uh, video might look like. So you can see that it's added some sort of funky text and um, some ways that the images are going to be shown. Um, so you can see it also changed the music a little bit and added a little theme that does an overlay over the pictures. So really up to you to um, figure out if you want to use one of the themes or if you want to sort of customize your own um, in the way to obviously the song changes just a little bit. So those are some of the basics of using um, the upload of images, um, adding some picture and a little bit of text for WeVideo.